How's it going, everybody? It's your guy, Sir Sturdy. I have some cool stuff to show you, but before I get into that, I want to tell you guys about, you know it, you guessed it, GNR TV. Streaming done right. If you don't have it now, get it after this video. I promise you, it's the best streaming service you can get. Top notch, hands down, amazing. I love it. Over 2,000 channels, sports packages, pay per view channels, all the movie channels, all the regular cable channels different cities, states, all that good stuff. The adult channels, which there is a passcode for that if you want to block those. But everything you need. 25 bucks a month, two devices on the Fire Stick. That's GNR TV. Go to GNRhosting.com and sign up. They also have a Facebook group, GNR TV, and a Discord, GNR TV. Check all that out. But again, GNR TV, streaming done right. Get it right now after the video. All right. So I got a couple cool things to show you. As you can see, I got these awesome freaking sunglasses on real quick. And now, Henry, I said next time I see you, I was going to do something. But I don't know what I'm going to see you unless we do like a video chat or whatever. So I'm going to do it right now. That's for you. All right. Back to the video. So last weekend, my wife and I went to Connecticut. We were supposed to be going out there for a horror convention, which the convention got canceled. There's a lot of BS in the background or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not going to even mention the con's name. I will say that. I'll never work with that con again if it ever happens again. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's get into the fun stuff, though. So, anyway, like I said, we went to, we ended up staying, going out to Connecticut and anyway. Mystic, Connecticut, that is. Awesome, beautiful place right by the shore. By the way, real quick. Best clam chowder I've ever had in my life. I can never do the canned clam chowder again. That stuff was so fresh out there. I got it from three different places. I got it from a diner. I got it from a steak, steak spot, steak place. And I got it from a pizza shop. Amazing at all three places. For the most part, they tasted the same. All fresh, just delicious. So, yeah. Next time. I'm, and this, this weekend right here, actually, they had a chowder fest. I believe yesterday, Saturday. I missed it. Because we went last weekend, like I said. Just to let you guys know, I was a little upset about that because I would have definitely went to the Chowder Fest if it was last weekend. But I had an amazing time. We had a great time. The wife loved it. I loved it. We went to the aquarium, and we went to this village. It's called, called Mystic Village. And it's like, it looks like a bunch of older, old school houses, I guess you could say. Beautiful town. And it's small. And um, it's just like a bunch of different shops. Like a mom and pop type of shops. And I actually went there to buy a few things from those shops which I'm going to show you guys very, very shortly. And we came, anyways, when we got back this past week, this weekend here, we got back last week, we got back Monday, but anyways, this weekend here, I got a couple beers, my wife grabbed them for me, which I'm going to show you guys too. And there's a couple things that are actually horror related that I got, believe it or not. The two beers are kind of horror related. And I got two hot sauces that are, horror related just because of the names and the way it looks well more one the name more one and you'll see you'll see and i got a car a couple cars but one's semi horror related i guess so again shades awesome yes i know it red i love them and i'm gonna work for the whole video so i'm gonna start off with you know what i'm gonna start off with the hot sauces and I'm going to start off with this one right here. It is the General's Maple Mayhem. It looks like a grenade, similar to a grenade. And it's that's honestly the biggest reason why I got it. It's amazing. I actually really like this hot sauce, too. I had it on, um, I don't remember the shop I got it from. Like, I don't remember any of the shop names. But this one, this hot sauce here, and there's another hot sauce. They let you try them like they had, you know, the little samples. And this one is, it's like a maple syrup with habanero. And it's really good. I had it on waffles yesterday and bacon. And last night I had it on some sweet potatoes. I love it. I really do. I feel it would probably be good on a glaze for like a steak or a chicken or maybe even like a ribs, like a light glaze. You know, when you put them in there and bake it on there. I think this would be an excellent choice for that. Excellent choice for that. And yeah, it's delicious. And I mean, you could watch horror movies and use this hot sauce on some waffles or any other foods I just mentioned. So it can go with hot, you know, it can go with horror. horror. That's how that connects. 
Next one. This one's called Grandpa's Best Carolina Reaper Sauce. Burns at both ends. This is another one I got to try at the place. And the funny thing about it with this one is... I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'll have stuff up for you guys in the background. But with this one, um, the gentleman that let me try this hot sauce, like they had samples in the background, they give you like this little cardboard thing about this big. It looks like a little, like a little shovel, like a little scoop. They drop a little on so you could try it, right? So I tried it, and I put my hand back out. I didn't mean for more. I was just kind of put my hand back out trying to taste it and just talking. And he put more on there. I was like, oh, I wasn't asking for more. He was like, oh, sorry, you could throw it. I was like, no, you put more on there. I'm going to try it. This is good. It has a pretty good flavor to it. Um, I think it would be really good on burgers, honestly. And, again, another, like, marinade type thing on steaks, maybe chicken, pork chops, if you eat pork chops, and stuff like that. Maybe a light glaze on, like, some um, white potatoes, like a light drizzle. Stuff like that it would be really good on, I feel. But it's good. It's a really good hot sauce. has a good flavor to it. And, yeah, I think you should try it out. <clears throat> Next one. Now this one, I'm going to be honest. For those of you who personally know me, you know how immature I am. I can be very immature for a person my age. It's Angry Goat Pepper dot co. Or Angry Goat Pepper Co. For, you know, short for company. This one is called Hot Cock. And there's a rooster on it. And the picture of the rooster looks freaking amazing. Again, I'll have a picture thing in the background so you guys can see it because this... Me showing you the bottle isn't going to do it justice, but between that, the name's funny. This hot sauce was good. I enjoyed it. I like the other two better flavor-wise, but this one was good. It has more heat than both of them, but flavor-wise, I don't think it's as flavorful as the other two. It is still a really good hot sauce, though. Um, put it on anything. I think it would be good on some wings. I'll, all these would be good on wings, actually. I think the, the maple one and the other one also be good on wings. You know, you bake up some wings or air fry some wings. And then pour the sauce on them, dip them in the sauce, and throw them in the oven. Lay that bake on. That'll really, these will work. But, yeah, that's this. Again, hot cock. That's funny. And the picture looks awesome. Okay, now, that's th three of the things I got from Connecticut. I also got a keychain, but that's downstairs. I don't feel like going to get that. Another thing I got was, uh, what do you guys see this? And the door is open. Something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, I said the door is open. I got this from a little toy shop. Actually, the next couple things I'm about to show you, a few things I showed you, I got from a little toy shop. Again, I have pictures that I'll have like in the background kind of thing, just so you guys can see it better, because a lot of these things have like glare. But yeah, cool car, right? Ghostbusters ambulance. That's like my horror related vehicle I got. The next one, two, three, four. No horror related at all. I'll show you this one first. Batmobile. Yeah. Beautiful car. Boom. I'm like a big kid, man. I like collecting all this stuff. I'm a huge Batman fan. This is from, I believe this is from the, the original Batman movie, Batman 1 and Batman Returns, which are my personal favorites of the Batman franchise. Some people might think that's crazy. Batman Returns is my favorite. The first one is my second favorite, I guess. But Michael Keaton is my favorite live-action Batman, so I had to get it. And look what's cool about this. Oh, well, yeah, it came as a little Batman, but this is kind of cool, too. See this? Kind of see inside the thing a little bit. I don't know how well it's showing you guys, but look. Night's closed means business. All right. Here's a blast from the past. Batman convertible. This is a dope car right here, too. This is an awesome car. This was from the TV series, by the way. I'm not sure what years. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't do any research, and I... I used to watch it as a kid when it came on TV, though, but it was way before my time. But this was an awesome car, and I did love the show. You know, pal, bam. All that kind of stuff. And another one from 
you know, the first two movies. I tend to get the little one. I like the detail on this one. Just looks cleaner, you know. But yeah, another cool one. First two movies, again, to me, the best ones. And then here's the one from my favorite Batman. This is my favorite number one Batman to me. And it's, I'm not sure of his name, but he does his voice in the cartoons. The animated series, that's like my favorite Batman of all time. The animated series Batman, animated series car. And I'd probably say this is my second favorite car from the first two movies. This is my first. Oops. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what I got from Connecticut. And, I mean, I had a great time out there. Like I said, we had a really good time. Great food. Oh, we went to this place called, which I'm going to show you these bottles in a minute. We went to this place called the Steak Loft. Henry said it's the best steak he's ever had on the East Coast as far as going out to eat. And it's definitely up there. It might be. But it's it's kind of tough because it's, it's one of those things where, like, it would be cool if you can kind of taste them. To, you know what I mean? Like, try one from there, from the Steak Loft in Mississippi, Connecticut. Try one from somewhere around here. Just a few different places to kind of make that claim. But I will say from the steak places that I've had, it's definitely top three. Definitely top three. I will say that. I can't. I don't know if it's the best or not, but it's definitely top three. It was delicious. Oh, my God. We had the steak with the shrimp. The shrimp was so amazing. That's the best shrimp I've ever had in my life. I can definitely say that. The best clam chowder I've ever had in my life with the seafood. So it's nice and fresh and just... If you're a seafood fan... If you like to travel, if I'd say go there for the weekend. Honestly, go to Mr. Connecticut for a nice weekend with friends, family, your significant other, whatever the case may be. Make a weekend of it. Bring some cash. They have a casino out there. I'm not a big casino person. We spent like maybe a half hour in there tops. Um, but, yeah, go out there. Get some good food. Have a good time. Spend some money in little shops. You know, you got to support them small businesses. I got respect for all that stuff, as you guys know. And I know you guys see this awesome shirt, Candyman. Now, let me show you these two. I'm just going to show you both at the same time and try to at least. Boom. Get the Punk Lemonade and the Zombie Killer Beer. These things are fucking awesome. They're very, very, very good, actually. This Punk Lemonade is Pink Lemonade. It's a cider, obviously, but, you know, beer, cider, whatever. I had both of these yesterday, actually. And this Zombie Killer is hard cider with honey and cherry. Both really, really good. Highly recommended. They're about between 7 and 8 bucks a piece. But, I mean, to me, it's worth it. I enjoy it. It has a cool art on here, and it tastes really, really good. So, yeah, I played. I had those yesterday. One, actually... I had the zombie one when I was playing Zombie Army 4 with my brother Henry. And the other one I had earlier. Earlier in the night. But yeah, so that was uh, kind of a wrap-up. Like I said, we, we had a really good time. Hands down, the best clam shot I ever had in my life. I would actually like to go again. I'm not sure when we're going to go again. But um, if we were to go again, let's say around this time next year, I'd want to go for Chowder Fest. I'd want to be there for the Chowder Fest. But, uh, yeah, like I said, again, I had an awesome time. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do have some shout-outs that you guys got to check out. Let me just look these up. I got to hang on. Give me one moment, please. Let me go to Twitch first. Shout-out to my boy, Willie Smooth. Thanks for helping me out with the whole OBS stuff. People, I will be twitching when I get my stuff together more. With, so you can see me but uh, let's see let's see let's see go to my thing Hang on, I'm trying to figure this thing out okay so for those of you who uh, have a twitch follow solitaire TX S O L I T A I R E T X one word solitaire TX it's my stepson's um, twitch channel he's a beast out of the games he plays 
Get them follows. Let's get them up to 200 follows by the end of the week. Let's try to at least, people. You're not doing anything. It takes two seconds to just go to the Twitch thing, sign in your Twitch, click follow. So go follow him. Uh, Another one. My boy Willie Smooth. Where is he at? It's Willie Smooth, W-I-L-L-Y-Y-S-M-O-O-T-H. Again, try to get him up to 200 follows or whatever. Me too. Horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. But yeah, Willie Smooth. Help me out a lot. If you guys have computer issues, anything to do with computers, he knows it. Anything to do with streaming, he knows it. His prices are fair. Hit him up. Again, his Twitch, Willie Smooth, W I L L Y S M W O T H. And again, like I said, my stepson Fernando, follow him on Twitch also. Solitaire T X S O L I T A I R E T X. I got, hang on. Now I had Saturday, I got to record with, um, her name is Johnny, little eight year old. She's going to be in a few horror movies and stuff. Huge horror fan. Her parents are raising her right. They're getting her into horror at a young age. I believe she started watching horror when she was like maybe four but she loves horror movies we actually talked some about um happy death day yesterday and just random horror stuff she's into she has a youtube channel let's get her to up let's try to get all these people up to at least 200 her youtube channel is monkey vader check it out awesome you guys are gonna love it like i said she loves horror it's good to get these kids into horror at a young age and she just, she's been to these cons. She really, really embraces it. She really enjoys it. And her parents support it 1 million percent, which is amazing. So definitely check that out. Again, that's Monkey Vader. Solitaire TX on Twitch. Willie Smooth on Twitch. And Monkey Vader on um, YouTube. So go check all of them out. And yes, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you really enjoy this video. Um... I highly recommend everything that I talked about. I highly recommend the sauces. I highly recommend you guys going to follow them. I highly recommend the beers and these awesome cars and little Batman toy. Hey, I mean, I really got nothing else to say. I'm going to be out. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know the Sunday's just about over. And, uh, hey, my uh, podcast is going to start having videos very, very, very soon, people my second video tonight again enjoy yourself be safe as always I'll see you in your nightmares with out the shades or with them peace